As Berm Peak surrenders to cool autumn nights, its deciduous trees are a warm, vibrant sight. But a lack of festivity marks the end of October, since Halloween's canceled until the pandemic is over. But terror and fear are abound on these trails, for all of these features are sketchy as hell. And someone might ride them in this here RV. It's Eric Porter and his whole family. They've traveled from Utah to visit my home and see in 3D what they've glimpsed on their phones. And while normally I would be keen to join in, my legs being held together with rods and pins. Seth, you in there? Yo, you made it. Yeah, the RV made it up the hill. You know I'm injured. My foot's up on a thing. I have to keep it elevated. Doctor says I can't go anywhere. I'm stuck in bed. I know you guys are here to ride. Uh, well, the boys are super pumped to ride, but the last time I was here, we just had the airbag and the mainframe, so I don't even know my way around. I got it covered. Just look down, and you're going to see a battery. And just pick up the battery. There's a note on it. You're going to go from there, and everything is going to work out. Yeah. All right, we'll give it a go. Over and out. The entrance is marked with cypress and gravel. The entrance is marked with cypress and gravel. It is there that your safety will quickly unravel. Yeah. So it says... Owen must use this tornado blaster to clear off the trails and make them faster. First clear the gravel and then clear the planks. For this line is known for gratuitous jank. Hey Seth, what's the speed on the snake pit gap? You don't have to go very fast, just... You know, go kind of fast for a skinny. I think I'm going to test out the right line first without the snake pit gap and see how the skinny feels. Then I'll come back up, get a little more speed, and uh, hit the gap. Before you drop in, the boys must stand by to watch out for cars that might come up the drive. Pedal in slow and beware of the snake pit, for there's only like a 30% chance that you'll make it. That's a classic set huck to flat. <laughs> Maybe even huck to upslope. Yeah. I think there's a clue over here, boys. Okay. Yeah, check it out. If you're reading this note, then you're all in one piece. But this was the easiest task to complete. For now, you must ride the same line to the start. And then to your left is a test of heart. Now you must conquer the structure from hell. Not just forwards, but backwards as well. Your chance of success is 1 in 27. But at least you can bail into the rhododendrons. All right, I gotta ride the main frame forwards and backwards. Forwards I've done before and works pretty good. It's just kind of awkward at the top. Backwards, I think the hardest part is gonna be getting the speed to make it up with the hard compression at the bottom. So let's see how it goes. Told you. Boys ready? Yep. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Nice, I made it. It was just like the, the hardest I could possibly sprint, then try to pump to get my speed up, and then just a couple trials hops to get the front wheel over and roll down the other side. I hope the main frame didn't give you much trouble. For now, you must hike up the trail with a shovel. Carry these tools to the top of the trail, and there you will find a whale. Whoa. Now you have reached the most sketchy of lines. Believe it or not, it was smooth at one time. But the, the ghouls, ghouls of neglect, neglect disrespected this trail. They locked up their brakes after sending the whale. 
Ride it like this and you'll surely get hurt. It's been a hot minute since I put in some work. But alas, here's a tarp and a pile of clay. I hear you're pretty good with a shovel, so hey. This crazy scavenger hunt has me riding the whole big line. So this is the whale tail, pucker plank, puck, wait. Pucker pad. What do I have in for me? Um, let's see, whale tail, pucker pad, cabin jump, rock garden, Peter cannon, Elmer Fudd. This is like a game show. They've been waiting their whole life to answer that question. So my goal is to ride the whole thing first go. You only get one first chance at a line like this, and so if you can get all the way through it, it's the best feeling in the world, so. Send it fast, and send it blind. Nobody's ever crashed on this line. But should you manage to be the first, make extra sure your GoPro works. <laughs> Boys ready? Okay. I believe I got through that first try. That was ridiculous. What do you yeah. guys think? You broke the new Burn Peak record. New record. I saw a paper on top of the teeter cannon landing. Should we go check it out? Yeah. Let's <gasps> see what it says this time. Now you have made it to Moonshangle Thickets, where the birds look like ghouls and the zombies are crickets. The trails are unfinished and planned even worse. Botch the next feature and leave in a hearse. That sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. Dropping him. What do you guys think? Go slow. <laughs> hey, your bikes are down here, guys. Milo and Owen have helped fix these lines and looked on in terror while Dad sent it blind. But riding these features is not safe for kids. So I planned out a super fun ride that is. Do we really have to climb this, Dad? Pedal, young porters, it only gets steeper. You thought it was Dad who would meet the Berm Reaper. While he took the risks on the treacherous plunge, it is you who must earn his descent. What fun! <laughs> Now that you've done the most treacherous task, you could win a prize, but not so fast. Your prize is in danger before it's for keeps. Milo and Owen, you must bunny hop this Jeep. Ooh. You guys got your hops today? I have an idea. What's that, Owen? Maybe we could go to the long and low and jump over that. Yeah. Hey, if he's gonna make you climb up the hill, you can get over this truck by whatever means necessary. That thing is The porters have seen all the scariest features. They made a full loop and dodged the berm reaper. They cleared the debris from the single track and added new clay to the slope style track. 
While I laid around in my bed eating Cheerios, they maintained my trails and filmed my whole video. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed our attempt at a Halloween video. I started writing that script from a hospital bed, probably on painkillers. If you want to see the Porter Boys work through some actual features on Burn Peak at their own pace, make sure you keep an eye on Eric Porter's channel for his video and you can follow the rest of his trip from Utah to Burn Peak. Happy Halloween. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.